we're talking social media and uh come on in hello <laughs> all right uh, hi the person behind all the guests people the reason yes. why we had such great guests was uh gina was made it happen i mean you had i know you had a lot of help but oh, yeah, you really team. were the lightning rod that made it happen. so thank you very much uh, for thank that. you guys for coming we really really appreciate you being we here have with us we've enjoyed working with you you've been fantastic um so you uh, you were working. You were doing social media at uh, equal or at EMC, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was there. I I, jo I joined Dell um, on Valentine's Day this year. Happy uh, Valentine's Day! Know, it was great, right? 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 <laughs> <laughs> and, um, oh, that um, was a corny joke from behind the, the cameras. <laughs> Don't you love that? So when when it's interesting when I interviewed with um, Dell, the day I interviewed was the day they announced the Compella acquisition. So it was kind of strange trying to think through what I wanted to do, but um, at, at EMC, you know, I love, I love, I have many friends at EMC. My husband still works at EMC, so, um, uh. and I, I had a great opportunity. I worked in the education organization, <laughs> okay. and um, I drove social media for their certification program, and um, was part. I was one of the bloggers. I was part of getting social media started at, internally at EMC and mentored, and just like this great, great group of people at EMC. I got stuck kind of in an operational role, and I am very technical. And mm -hmm. there was an opportunity here for me to to come over to Dell and do social media and be technical again. Yeah. So it was too good to pass up, and it, it's great being here. It really, really is. So, what, so awesome. what does that mean in, in a social media context? Uh, how do you apply your technical skills? Um, well, right now, I, it was an interesting transition because I don't know if you know Jennifer Gargas Meyer. Okay. Um, she is is who kind of started and spearheaded social media for the storage organization at Dell, uh -huh. and um, and she, when I came on, I, she had just gone on maternity leave. So <laughs> I, when I got here, I actually, when I got here, we, they started talking and planning for the forum. So we're like, yeah, we need social media, and you're the one, and drive it. <laughs> so I kind of did a lot of, op I've done a lot of operational since I've been at Dell, but what I got hired to do was to be a technical blogger, to go out and um, blog about technology, and what I'm hoping to blog about and start on is object-based storage. Uh, that just which is a very cool. I see the light in your eyes, <laughs> <laughs> because which will translate to the blog, which is fantastic. Well, I, I, I know some about it, and I kind of like kind of like a fuzzy picture about you know like what, technically what it is and what it can do and all the rest of it. So I think what I'm going to try to do is kind of write these blogs and my journey through actually figuring it out and digging down digging deep. Down. I know okay. we're supposed to be talking about social media, but can I ask you a question about? Uh, object? Oh, come on, Dan. So, I told you it's fuzzy. On topic. I told you it's fu <laughs> fuzzy, <Go> though. <laughs> you heard the fuzzy part, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so <laughs> I might not be able to answer this question. Asked. Well, I mean, I, I, I've, right? been, I've been looking at it, too, and it is kind of fuzzy, but the people that I've talked to about it, those who have implemented it say, well, it's made my life so much better. It's policy-based. I have all this metadata, and it's, you know, seems like it's really going to simplify storage, and it's very much cloud-friendly. Right. And, you know, the whole REST interface, and and, and APIs and everything else. So, so um, what else do you know about object? I think the thing that fascinates me, um, from what I do know, and it is very little, is um, it's, it's, a t it's a different way of looking how to store the data. So it's not based on this hierarchical file system anymore, but you actually have these objects that you store with some metadata. You might have one flat form of reference down into those objects maybe one or two, and that's it. So you're able to make these kind of virtual file systems to get at the objects from different types of ways. And what that really means, I'm not sure, that's where the fuzzy starts, and that's what I'm really, so it's, it's kind of like a shift in, if we're always using, all of our applications are written for files. Everything is is based on that. So Very hierarchical, right, structured. So, right, so what happens? Even the unstructured data. Right, is, we put into <laughs> structures. Uh -huh, right. So what does that mean if you switch to an object-based way of storing that information and I don't know and that's what I hopefully we'll blog about over the next few months. Well and there's some examples of people that are doing it out there in web 2.0 land. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In the world that so I think uh, seem so to be doing pretty well with exactly. it. Exactly. So. Yeah. so even people getting who, learning with you. Basically, that's kind of the, the idea goal. and I came from the education group yeah. and so it's kind of a natural thing for me is talking course. technology translating it and yeah. so it, it'll be a smooth transition <laughs> is what I'm hoping. So how will you, you go about learning about all this. Well, you had Gene Chester on. Yeah, right. He's in my group. Okay, and so you just go pick, pick and I, I, I go to Austin every night, right? Well, uh, he's <laughs> in Austin, and I still live outside oh. Boston. But I go to Austin every month, and he, 
I don't have an appointment with him. I need to put him on my calendar. I need to get on his calendar. But yeah, I, I want to get productive when you're in Austin. Then. Well, I don't know if you saw the tweets about his whiteboard sessions. No. Everybody went crazy over mm -hmm. him yeah. geeking out and doing his whiteboard sessions. So I, he told me he would give me a one on one. And, so he's going to help me. And also, the product managers are in my group, and they're really excited that I'm interested in it. So they're, they'll provide me a lot okay. of support. And so there's, so that's, that's sort of face-to-face -face, you know, interactions, and then you just read like crazy. And read like crazy. Someone will give me some time. and I'll get, I'll get some lab space, and good. I'll go crazy. I'll be good. Can't, Can't wait. wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and, and where's the, the blog that they'll be able to follow that along? Okay, so Wait, the name of my blog is Storage According to a Dixie Chick. Nice. It's gminks.edublogs.org. Okay. Gminks.edublogs.org. Mm -hmm. So you and I were talking off camera uh, about you know social media and the fact that that there there are stories within the storage world that really aren't being shared. I mean, within the social media world, we. We have a lot going on, but you never, you don't really see a whole lot about storage and about the people in storage. Well, that's one reason. We were just talking about this with some of the guys over there a minute ago. We're really happy you guys came. So we have um, this this chance to get all of our storage executives up here and talk. Yeah. You've had some of our bloggers. You've had some of our customers, mm -hmm. our partners. We've had a good, wide range of people. And I mean, I, I think um, even me coming into Dell when I was doing my research and thinking, you don't. You don't hear about these enterprise technical guys and gals, everybody that's here, right? You get the women <laughs> right? in tech, which is awesome. So um, you don't really hear about them. And there is a real, there's a, a great amount of talent here at Dell, like very technical talent. The thing that's been the most awesome, they all want to share. They all want to jump in and help everybody and, and help promote everybody and help everybody learn what to do and move everything forward. And um, I just, I'm, ha I'm happy and hoping that you know this will help, you know, growing our community externally for the, our, our rabid customers from both of our crazy Equalogic and crazy fanboy compellent yeah. sides, like, growing them all.